Hello, my gorgeous Scorpio. Welcome back to Fifi and Gigi's tarot readings. I hope all of you are feeling absolutely marvelous. Scorpio, let's get straight into it, shall we? Let's dive straight in. You know, I like to, there we go, get straight to the point. Let me clear the deck for you. Scorpio, for this week, I want to talk about a rather broad energy, and it's going to be for August 2023. Who is coming towards you or what are the big energy changes around you? What's the heads up? What is it that your spirit team would like to make you aware of? And everything and anything that you can expect. Scorpio, cross watchers, everyone here is welcomed. Let's get straight into it, shall we? So changes always happen, right? It's a very general thing to say, but and it sounds almost a bit flat saying that, but I'm just hearing that there's going to be small like incremental changes nothing bad though i'm really kind of it's not challenging i think it's i don't know it's going to bring your awareness here perhaps to someone let me see three more and the last one please i always like to do i always pre-shuffle these but i always do a very good shuffle on camera i like to kind of shuffle them away so i don't see the cards as well I want to be surprised just as you. So here we go. Two more. Last one. Oh, excellent. Scorpio, here we go. I'm just hearing it's time. Well, let's see what that means. Something is arriving in August, maybe. Bottom of the deck. Oh, the King of Swords. Very interesting because um, I just did Sagittarius, Scorpio, and their overall energy was also the King of Swords. That's interesting. This is someone I believe that you may already know. Doesn't this, I mean, it can be an ex, doesn't have to be. This could be someone you're dealing with now, on again or off again, but they're looking straight at you. Very strong Aquarius energy, could also be a Gemini, uh, could be a, um, a Libra, can be any gender here as well, any star sign, doesn't matter but they're looking straight at you and there is something that they want to tell you. They want to speak their truth. Now, usually the King of Swords has one sword, which is the King Sword, right? But we've got two here. In this instance, I look like Samurais, but it's still the same meaning, but they're down. So maybe you're not talking to this person. Maybe communication has been severed. It's been blocked. You went your separate ways. There's an opportunity now that your person wants to talk to you. You're going to have an opportunity to talk as well. And this is all about truth. It's clarity. It's revealing everything based on facts here. It is clearing the air, which is fantastic. And it's going to directly impact you in a beautiful way because we have the world. And just like the Wheel of Fortune, for you, we have four fixed signs here. Taurus, Leo, Aquarius, and we have you, Scorpio. So things may have ended between you and this person because this shows when you come full circle. Yes, it shows, you know, endings. We have learned lessons, pat yourself on the back, congratulations. But where there is an ending, this card promises a huge brand new cycle here. There's a, probably a very specific reason why this actually at the start had to end, that you probably oh couldn't glue, we couldn't mesh together. But now it seems that this person, I feel like eventually they'll get to the point when they say, can we try again? And they also may be um, overseas, there may, may be some distance between you. Not that that matters, because they're going to make it work. We have another major arcana, strength card, and this is exclusively linked to, as we know, Leo energy. It's very self-explanatory. It's the card of unconditional love, of self-control here as well, where we're building up our confidence and our bravery, not just in ourselves, but in other, someone else. Because to be vulnerable here and to give our heart to someone else requires a lot of bravery, because that person you know, can be the source of all your joy and all your pain, right? It's, of course, a very literal message of going strength to strength here. I see you holding back just a little bit. Not that you're doing it on purpose. I'm just, you're, you're kind of like, you want to analyze everything. You know, first let's have the talk before I make up my mind. Before I see you face to face, we have Page of Pentacles, the student card. Some massive lessons here have been learned between you um, and this person about yourselves, about each other, about the world, yeah? About the connection. Might be an age difference here as well. We've got very strong Capricorn energy. Could also be a Virgo or Taurus. Could be any star sign, really. Um, we've got small messages, small offers at the start, kind of testing the waters, see how these conversations go, right? Do, are we still getting along and all that? And this eventually leads to face-to-face -face communication. And you got your perfect match. The King and the Queen of Swords. Yeah, you or this person may be separated, divorced, could be widowed here. And I'm seeing, we've got very strong Libra energy, could also be here a Gemini. 
or an Aquarius, I think that a lot of you have been focusing a lot here, you and your person, you know, just focusing on other areas of your life. But when we have that burning desire with that strength card to talk, to, you know, get back together, um, I see your person's going to beat you to it, though. They're just waiting for the right time, that three of wands, Aries energy. You know, maybe I'll do it on a Friday. Maybe I'll approach Scorpio around their birthday, even though I'm focusing mainly here on August. This is going to be a breakthrough. I can see it. This conversation, it's going to be two way. It's not going to be one way. I'm not seeing any arguments, but it's going to offer a big breakthrough, that aha moment, clarity. Let's talk about the current situation. It's the King of Wands, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius energy. Again, we've got this particular king looking straight at you. There is desire, there's passion, there's motivation. The King of Wands will only step up and reach out to you unless they feel compelled to because they believe in this connection, they believe in you. Yes, there's a lot of attraction here, you know, the physical side of the relationship, but this king wants to take control of this connection once more. In saying that, let's talk about you. How do you, you view this person and the connection? Six of Swords. The cards are very shiny. You can actually see the camera there. I'll put it that way so you can see it. Aquarius energy. Again, regardless if this person is near or far away, I think with the number six, I love seeing sixes in um, spreads because they're all about healing. They're all about balance. I think you wouldn't mind moving forward, you know, with this person, even as friends or as, you know, romantic, you know, connection. Again, you just want to move forward and you will into the lake of tranquility. The next six weeks for you are going to be quite harmonious. And you'll know that because things are easy. Things just fall into place with little effort. All right, let's talk about your person. How do they view you and this connection for the month of August, please? Wow, we've got the Emperor, Aries energy. It's the divine masculine. It's all the kings, the four kings wrapped up into one. In fact, the Emperor and the King of Wands for me, both happen to be fire sign. For me, they're very similar, if not almost the same, right? But this is serious boss energy. Your person will be taking very calculated strategic moves towards you to win you back they're very confident here as well I, I don't feel like it's cocky but they're just so sure about you that they want to take control of this situation they do want to win you back they don't want you to go anywhere so they're stepping up and i like this i'm hearing that's almost like a like a turn on like you can be very attracted by that someone that shows that they're in control they say what they mean and they mean what they say but in saying that, though, what is happening with your person when no one else is looking behind the scenes for uh, August? I was going to say November, August. Oh, OK. Four of Cups, Cancer Energy. So they're feeling quite alone here, a bit melancholic, a bit bored, mm, a bit flat, apathetic. And on challenging days, they lose hope. They think this is done and dusted, that ship has sailed. What's the point? I think they're also, <clears throat> excuse me, afraid of being quite rejected here by you. Could be suffering a bit from depression, but it's almost like that functioning depression where you would never guess it unless they're alone. Mm, okay. What's the beating heart of your reading for August? Mutual energies here as well. Beautiful. The Ace of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. If there is any card that shows a solid breakthrough, a solid beginning, a solid foundation, just like this table, Solid proposals, it's the Ace of Pentacles. So you're moving on to something quite serious. They're gonna offer you something very serious here after the talk, you could say. What are they going to do? What are they gonna do about this? Let's see. Ooh, double Aries energy, okay. The Two of Wands, they're going to, look, the person's already reaching out to you, as you can see. They know what they need to do. Which one, is it at a crossroads? Is it left or right? Option one or number two? So they'll be reaching out. They're stepping into the unknown. And again, I'm hearing it's about showing you that they mean business, that they're serious and that they want to take control of this situation. OK, there's a lot of action here. I like this. Let's talk more action. All right. Their fears, but also um, their wishes and hopes. This can also reflect yours as well for August. What do we have? Oh, nice. Eight of Wands. Sagittarius energy. So whether this person is overseas or interstate, they could be a foreigner or worldly traveled. The news are coming straight to you, Scorpio. Cupid's arrow, love messages. This may require some travel as well. But if you know for certain there is no travel here for August, even September, on its own, it just means movement. It is the second fastest moving energy in the entire deck. So I wish I can see for the both of you is like, let's talk it out. Let's move forward. Let's plan together. And a fear is, well, what if none of this happens? We're just forever stuck. Especially your person. They have a very big fear here. 
is that you just decide, you'll do a backflip and you'll decide that you want nothing to do with them. All right, let's see. In the near future, what's going to happen? So end of August, early September is the Three of Swords. Mm, wow. So Libra energy. This might have been a third party situation. Perhaps there is still a third party hanging around in the background. The only thing I can say is that, yes, everybody's heart breaks. Nobody wins. I can see your person is crying over this. I see that once upon a time, Scorpio, you were really crying over this as well. But you've done like all that inner work, yeah? Even shadow work. You're moving forward. And I have to say, with or without this person, you're going to move forward. That this also represents, because it is upright, healing of the heart. So these conversations, yeah, there's more communication, there's more, you know, messages, more conversations that can lead to the healing here. But if indeed there was a third party to any capacity, they may still be hanging around. So that's a heads up for you. And in the outcome, we have the Page of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Yeah. Now, I feel like it's not going to be bad news. It's my favorite page. They are usually the bearer of good news. They come with offers like once in a lifetime opportunity here. That's what they're going to deliver to you right? But I feel it's almost like they're going to say, but, but a third party is still hanging around. This could literally be an ex troublesome children of a certain age when they understand what's going on, family, friends, maybe the third party could be distance here for some of you that is still going to be apparent, but it's not going to be that bad though. The page of wands is pretty good. You know, it's a very extrovert energy. They've got a lot of Aries energy here. I must admit they might have it strong in their chart, really strong fire in their chart split the deck we've got the emperor again now they're looking to the past they need to fix something that they did in the past mm, i just feel like they hurt you they did they said something or they did something pertaining to a third party you had no choice but to move on let's see i think they know that you have no patience for this for this merry-go-round you have no patience for games so that's why when they're feeling a bit flat tired really tired it's like i think they allow their negative thoughts to kind of you know develop scorpio wants nothing to do with me three more two more last one mm. yeah they might have i think yeah there definitely might have been someone else here could have been romantic doesn't have to be two of swords libra energy what on earth do I say to Scorpio? They know they're going to reach out, but when it's time to do it, they may just kind of stumble, fumble on their words. How, what do I say? Do I say this or do I say that? What else do we have? Nine of Wands. Yeah, I think it's because they, you know, that's Sagittarius energy. So we've got the eight, we've got the nine. So we've got a bit of progressive energy. They're probably a bit worried here that they're just going to meet a wall, an obstacle with you, an uphill battle, a big challenge that you're going to be very defensive. You've got your reservations here as well. So physically, they know what they need to do. Just press send, knock on the door, call Scorpio. But when it's time, crunch time, probably don't know what to say. We've got the King of Cups. And the King of Cups is losing sleep over you. We've got the Nine of Swords, Gemini energy. And there we are, Scorpio energy. Could also be a fellow Scorpio that you're dealing with, a Pisces or a Cancer. They are losing sleep over you. Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, they're moving very slow towards you. We've got Virgo energy right there. Could be a Taurus or a Capricorn, but that shows a passage of time. And I think this is why they're losing sleep over you. And I think they hate the fact of that Seven of Swords, as we can see the person's looking to the past, something that happened in the past, Aquarius energy, is the fact that they probably know that you don't trust them or you don't trust the situation. And I think how you perceive them, what you think of them actually means a lot to them. So they need to fix this. They need to rectify this and dig themselves out of this hole. So the King of Wands is clarified by you the death card strictly scorpio energy we know that where there is an ending there is a beginning where there is the death of a relationship a situation we have rebirth and we have what major transformation after all we can see the butterfly coming out of chrysalis now yeah and i think this is why there is an ending you're probably not talking to one another perhaps you've recently started talking for some of you not all of you that's why they're returning to transform this with you and only you let's talk about you wow you got the knight of wands sagittarius leo aries energy the call to action night my traveling night i think you're going to meet this person in the middle the only thing that I, I feel it's like the only kind of turn off or one thing that you're a bit uncertain of is that you're not putting your entire heart into this only probably because you're seeing your person as very unreliable 
What if they're a player, you know, a player? What if, you know, they're impulsive coming back? Or, you know, because you haven't seen what's been going on behind the scenes. I don't feel this is impulsive because they've been kind of crying over spilt milk here. You know, what if they give me the Three of Swords again? Those are fair um, concerns to have. It's almost like you're just wondering, did they come back because they're bored? I don't, I don't feel that. Because they're coming across with that boss energy and that's clarified with the King of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Listen, we'll not be surprised if your person in the past was committed, engaged or married to someone else, if they had their own home, their own family here. But this is what they want with you. That might have been the third party, but now they're seeking something stable and long-term with you. And they're suffering here, which is clarified by my favorite card, the sun. Leo energy, the happiest card. It's a major card of blessings. And we can clearly see the rays of the sun here around the sun. It's the card of illumination. So they're going to make everything known to you. You're going to really pretty much find out everything. And I think you're going to find out this is not impulsive. This is happiness. We've got a lot of happiness. And what I love is that the sun is such a strong, powerful card. It literally overcomes any challenging cards. It softens the effect until they're all the way into the ground. The ace of pentacles, please, is clarified by the six of cups. And that is you. Six of cups is what? Scorpio energy. This is reconciliation. It's feeling nostalgic. Yeah, there may be children involved here as well. I have seeing a very deep past life connection. I feel like you've known this person for a really long time. At least it feels like it's been a long time. There is unfinished business. It's a really fun card. So I'm really feeling this person's return because they're holding on to that pentacle. And we've got the ace of pentacles here. So their return is serious. They really thought about it. The two of wands, please, is clarified by the six of pentacles. Nice. Taurus energy. I love sixes again. They're all about healing equal give and take they might be going through their own separation divorce spousal support child support here as well they're probably taking care of their parents here as well like paying all their bills and all that like supporting them but this already tells me someone's intentions and that is really important because we can't read someone's mind the cards never lie so they do have good intentions they want to come and fix this it's about equal give and take here as well mm, they might give you a gift could be around your birthday i'm hearing that Anything to get your attention, you know, to put the spotlight back on each other. The Eight of Wands, please, is clarified by a very famous, fun-loving card. It is a Three of Cups Cancer energy. This, I think they're going to invite you. It's like, here I am, and they're going to be inviting you out. And I feel like they're going to be very straightforward. Like, let's go to a cafe. Let's go watch a movie. Let's go to a restaurant here. Yeah. This is opening up lines of communication. I mean, you're under, it's on top of a card of a lot of communication, you know, a lot of love messages and Cupid's arrow. Wow. It's a very big card of at least just starting off as friends. I'm really picking up there was a third party and who that third party or what it represents, uh, you know what it is, Scorpio. Let's talk about that three of swords. Yeah, so we had the king of cups and now we've got the queen of cups. So both, I think both of you have been focusing a lot on self-healing, of creating stronger boundaries here as well. Filling up your own cup first, self-love, self-respect. There's been a lot of healing here that Scorpio you've been doing and your person has been doing as well. Being more assertive, but not letting our heart harden because of what's happened in the past. So I am, I'm really happy that the Queen of Cups actually um, clarified that three, sorry, the three of swords, because there's been a lot of healing and we cannot ignore that the damage has been done, but the queen of cups is there to create harmony. It's a very soft energy that the queen of cups really knows how to create boundaries and to make sure that we don't stop loving each other. There's a, there's a lot of healing there. The page of wands. Now, what, what is the bearer of these news? What are they going to tell you? Wow. The high priest, this is the hierophant Taurus energy. It's the card of what? doing the right thing, going down a traditional route. It's seeking commitment, engagement, if not marriage with you. We're seeing the priest there. Wow. I think you're going to commit to one another. Let me split the deck, please. <laughs> no wonder. We got the Ace of Pentacles in the middle, and now we've got the Ace of Pentacles. I split the deck, so we go a lot more deeper into the energies. Behind the Ace of Pentacles is the Page of Cups. So they're going to make you that proposal, that offer. And in front is the King of Wands again. So they're going to be taking action. They are fueled by passion, by love. They believe in this connection here as well. They know they seriously, majorly effed up here. But those are the news toward the end. August, around September, I see your person saying, hey, let's try one more time. Just one more time. Give this, give this old fool one more chance. 
and I see that you will. There's so much healing happening here. We're not just slapping a band-aid on what happened. We're really doing even some shadow work here. This is fantastic. Scorpio, this is what I have for you. Thank you for joining me. Um, and always remember that you are always in control. So power to you. All right. Bye.